And we are back. Brian Broaddus, thank you very much for tapping in with us, sir. Hey, man, you've been looking a little dapper the last couple of days, man. What's, your, what, what, what's going on, man? You're pulling out your I got paid today shirts, Brian. What's, what, what's no, going man, on? I, I'm trying to, maybe one day, I'm, I'm trying to get this company in Austin called Poncho. Mm. They're, they're a shirt company. Okay. And I got, my, I got my pearl snaps. You know, I got a little Western flair to me, but they make great shirts. The material's great. The... Uh, the, if they're listening, I hope that come and sponsor Watch and I with our with our stuff. But uh, yeah, I've been I've been a little bit a little bit trying to be a little bit. I'm trying to, to like elevate my game with you because, like I told you yesterday, everybody's coming up to me and like, "Ooh, you're working with Watch now. Oh, he's my guy. He's this, you know." So I I feel like I got to elevate my game even more now because everybody's coming up to me in the Miller Light, the Plaza, and saying. Love your podcast with mm. Botch. Love your podcast. Man, Botch is a legend. And I'm like, yeah, I'm very fortunate to work with Botch. So I'm trying to elevate my game. I tell you what, mm. one yeah. night, we get this football team to start winning again. I want to be a part of the Jazz Ensemble. We're, I'm going to put on gotcha. I'm going to put on my tux. Mm -hmm. I swear I'm going to put on my tux, my bow tie, my tux, all my stuff. I'm going to get a I'm going to get a drink in my hand, and we're going to have this. I'm going to be part of this podcast that you do salt and pepper lounge man we're gonna do salt and pepper lounge one day you know hopefully we, uh, lounge. all right i'm in for that hopefully I'm we uh we uh get a good win we'll turn one of these post game shows yeah, into salt and pepper lounge we'll do that there you go there you go gotta get you a gold chain too brian that's that's I that's a gold chain i do need a gold chain that's all you need to fit in with me brian do you mind do you mind before we break down the giants offense today Brian Bryce, do you mind if I just ask you a couple of questions? You ain't know I was going to do this today. You ain't know I was going to do this. But do you mind? You know, I, 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 there's a side of me that I kind of, I've worked with you now long enough mm -hmm. where I know to expect the unexpected. What, 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 do you have a, do you have an idea of the direction I might be going, Brian Bryce? Okay. Now, yesterday I got you with the, the first 15 and then Bobby Belt, this Bobby Belt sent me on the, uh, McCarthy's actual first 15 mm. there's some productivity to it <laughs> and I'm like oh I didn't expect that but it doesn't seem that way but no. I know you have a question or two and I'm here for you to answer so go ahead sir Brian brought us mm -hmm. Vach asked this yeah you would think that the Cowboys are a more superior team than the New York Giants. You would just Ooh. assume. Ooh. You would assume. Mm. Got the quarterback advantage and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, your running backs may be even, you know, but you, you know, you got. <laughs> I think the Giants have the advantage there. Yeah, you know, you just, just never know. You never you know. Got, you got all this stuff going for you, man. You would assume that the Cowboys had the. How come when I watched the film on the Giants? Yeah. Those dudes have a really good idea on how to get Malik neighbors going. Yeah. But the Dallas Cowboys do not have a great idea about how to get CeeDee Lamb going. Brian, why? Well, man, that is uh, – I wonder that myself. I wonder that with a lot of NFL teams. Mm. You know, I wonder you know, why Why does it seem like the, the, the one pass we throw to him is the slant. Yeah. But there's really – you know, you – you put him in the backfield, run the Texas route, boy, I like that. Got him, got him some good yards that way. Um, it should be different. It should be, and I think that this is on Mike McCarthy mm -hmm. and this coaching staff. Is it, it? This haunts me to this day. This haunts me. Had a chance to interview Brian Schottenheimer, mm. and in Oxnard. And he told me, I said, Hey, uh, I go, Brian, how, how many plays, who do you steal plays from? Who do you steal? Who do you, you know, all the good, all the good coordinators. I mean, I, 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 I told him, I said, I was with Andy Reed, you know, Andy, Andy loves to steal plays. John Gruden loves to steal plays. These, these coordinators love to steal plays. Ah, uh, you know, Brian really don't, don't steal plays. You know, you watch the tape and, you know, and, and I'm going, <laughs> I'm going, how am I getting any better? Yeah. How am I getting any better? How am I going to get more creative if you're not stealing ideas and trying to maybe make them your own? 
you know, I remember Andy and John at Green Bay with Mike Homer and calling plays, and I was always like amazed how Andy and John would be there at 4.30 in the morning watching tape and trying to figure out, and it was a race to see who could get their play into the into the game plan that week. Mm. And, like, we would practice, and it's like, oh, man, we, we would um, – this guy in Minnesota named Bob Snelker, who was a coordinator. He had Darren Nelson, who was a running back. Darren Nelson was a really good player. Darren Nelson, Stanford kid, catches the ball. Great. One of the best screen packages you ever could imagine. We stole our screen package. That what you see, what you saw, the Packers, and then Andy Reid with the Philadelphia Eagles with Bryant Westbrook and those guys running screen packages and red zone screens and all that. Mm-hmm. That ain't that ain't 49er stuff. Sure. It's Bob Snelker from the Minnesota Vikings. Sure. It's we stole all that stuff from. Mm-hmm. So you look at you look at Andy today. I mean, just the way that you the way that he gets his guys. We talked about this last week in the Ravens game. Damn, you know how are they getting how are they getting Aguilar. Rice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how are they getting Rice on Roquan Smith in the slot? How 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 are they doing that? You know how are they how are they doing that? How how are they how are these teams? And it's it's troubling. It's troubling that to think that CD Lamb has gotten better every year, and a lot of it has gotten better every year because of just. His God-given talent. Yeah. Not anything else that anybody else has done for him. Maybe I'm being too critical. Mm. I don't think I am. I don't. Because there's a responsibility you have to the quarterback. Like they're damn the Giants. You watch the Giants, they're doing things with Daniel Jones yep. to try and help him not being an idiot quarterback. Yeah. You know? They're doing things with Singletary. They're doing things with Roberts and the receiver, the little the little receiver they had. Put him in the backfield, whatever. They're doing stuff with him. Yeah. Malik Neighbors, you mentioned it. They're doing things with them. Mm-hmm. You know, they're trying to keep the quarterback like, and, and they're, you know, for a lot of times they're having some success doing it. Sure. Damn Malik Neighbors, I mean, he, geez, he's from my school. Incredible. I mean, I've seen him do this. I know what kind of player he is. But I was worried about like him going with working with Daniel Jones. I was worried. But you know what? Daniel Jones ain't perfect, but man, he finds ways to get him the ball, and they find ways to move him around to get him the ball. Mm-hmm. Targets, all that stuff. You know, Brian, I'm a big fan of yours. You hate to hear me say that, but it's you probably don't hate to hear me say that, but you just don't don't take compliments. Well, I'm I'm a big fan of yours, Brian Broad. Mm-hmm. And I've been listening to you for a long time. You try to get a lot of people fired here. Not that you want people to just or whatever, but you just Oh, they don't. hate me. They yeah. hate me in a lot of buildings. They hate me. Man, Brian, I think I'm trying to get somebody fired, man. I think I'm trying to get Mike McCarthy fired. Let me show you something that I tweeted today. You may have saw it, but just in case the audience didn't, I was mm-hmm. watching film, Brian. I was watching yeah. San Francisco just to, you know, uh, be be current. You know, I just like to yeah. watch them. I'm late because I cover the Cowboys. Dog, Debo gets hurt, and yeah. Jawan Jennings goes for eleven, yeah, for 175 yards and three touchdowns. If yeah. anything happens to Lamb, McCarthy's scheme won't allow somebody to step up and produce. We'd yeah. be effed. Yeah, Brian, I'm up here watching San Francisco. And oh, you say it all the time. Yeah, you say it all the time. How how are their how are their thirds and fourths? You know how are their thirds and fourths helping them win games? Sure, sure. You say it all the time. I you know this is you know you talk about you uh, me working with you. I I I'm lucky to work for I'm lucky to work with you because you point that stuff out. Yeah. How how does that happen? How does you know, why, why do we have to beg for Cooks? Mm-hmm. Why do we have to beg for Tolbert or beg for Turpin? Or beg, why do we have to beg? Yeah. You know, when you, when you, it, it, to me, the fan in this day and age is so much more educated than the fans when I was in my, you know, when I started in the league in 1992. Yeah. So much more educated. They understand, they understand blitz concepts. They understand routes. They understand, you know, you know, uh, how to play, you know, West Coast or whatever form of offense you play, mm-hmm. you know, the Shanahan offense. They understand people aren't dumb. People aren't dumb. They watch the games and they're like, well, how does, well, gosh, how do they do that? Mm-hmm. And then you watch your team play and you're going, well, why, why aren't they not even trying that? Yeah. That's the thing I think that's frustrating to a lot of Cowboy fans is, you know, you, 
you have to almost beg. <laughs> like maybe Dak and CD have to go once again, go into have that come to Jesus talk with uh, with Mike McCarthy about the offense. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. You 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 go out there and 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 roll over and don't get things done this week. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I don't want to hear, you know, uh, we'll cover it, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be a part of that. Like, you know, what take, you know, you got to take, I, I, I said this on love of the star just, a, just a little bit ago, Vach. Mm -hmm. I said that why, why do opponents seem to take advantage of your defense and you can't take advantage of their defense? Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why does that happen? What, what, you know, and, and we were going back and forth. Bobby O'Brien were going back and forth on it. And it just seems like to me that, 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 that people, they kind of find your guys that maybe are struggling a little bit and doing something. Sure. But they find them. Yeah. You know, they, they set it up to where, oh, hey, we, you know, we got this, we got our guy on your guy. And now it's a problem. Which and is we a, don't do any of that. Which is a we, good point, Brian, because look, people come in these in these comments and these in these yeah. chat boxes, right? And they'll say, Vach, you and Brian have no clue what you're talking about when you're critical of the other team. I promise, Dave Falele ain't been good all year. Not I promise all. you he ain't been good all year. But he's good versus us. How? Mm -hmm. Your job is to find Falele and, yeah. and, and take advantage of they him. They did. They did. They One sure. time they rushed Micah Parsons over the top of mm -hmm. him, and one of the few pressures they got yep. on Jackson was an incomplete pass. Sure. We were talking about that. Yeah. You know, I mean, you you, there, you you could the numbers will tell you the pressures. Sure. The, talk, to, talk to the people with the Ravens. Mm. They were even going up into the game talking about maybe they were going to replace him at guard yep. because they were worried about him. You know, you don't do a good enough job of finding their weaknesses, and teams do it to you. Yeah, they do it to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, trust me, they're going to Coop, Cooper BB is going to have his hands full. Yeah, dealing with this nose tackle this week. Yep. And you know what? And they're going to keep putting him on. They're not going to why why rush that guy over Zach Martin? Well, Zach Martin is not he Zach been, Martin. He he's great, not. Yeah, yeah. Tyler but, Smith. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You, you you think they're gonna waste reps? It's the whole thing when you were talking about putting Micah Parsons over Trent Williams. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why do you why would you do that? Sure. You know, or why you I know you have to do it sometimes, but why do you doing it all the time? Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing. So I, I don't to me, I, I just think it's you know, we're critical when you watch tape as much as we do. And I'm not trying to lash out at folks. I really do appreciate you folks that watch us every single day. I'm just trying to tell you, though, that we're in a situation right now where when you see enough tape, when you break it down, you're like, man, that guy gives up a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Boy, that guy gives up. That guy doesn't cover very well. Wow, that corner right there is not very physical. I'm not trying to sit there and just kind of make S up here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm truly trying to tell you where who I would attack. And I and I and I will say it I say it way too much. Teams do a better job of attacking you than you do attacking them. Yep. So Brian, let's go ahead and take a look at these New York football giants, man. Mm -hmm. And you know, we can take turns back and forth, whatever you want to do, man. Sure. But I think the biggest um the biggest scare for you this year, the or yeah. this week, the biggest impediment. I'm not even gonna say Malik Neighbors. I'll mm -hmm. tell you why I'm not going to say Malik. And he may be the most talented player on offense, right? But yes. if if I'm the Giants and we haven't stopped the run in two weeks. That's exactly right. I'm going to get Devin Singletary involved. Yeah. And th yeah. These, these are ugly jerseys. Please, y'all, pardon me. I'm going yeah. to get Devin Singletary involved, and I'm just going to run the football at, at – at the Dallas Cowboys till they till they figure it out. This offensive line ain't the best offensive line in the world, but damn, nope. we've gone against some offensive lines that ain't the best. Like John John Runyon's like what ninety yeah. years old now. Andrew yeah. uh, Andrew Thomas, uh, John Michael Schmidt, we like him, but he's a little small right now. Yeah, probably right. probably take another season to get him a little bigger. There's yeah. another dude, John Jenkins, Vander Schmidt, whatever his name yeah. is. It's, they're not a particularly great offensive line unit. But they're yeah. going to run Devin Singletary right at you until you stop it. I can even see them running Daniel Jones right at you until you stop it, Brian Brock. Yeah, you know, and and this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the you're going to get multiple tight ends, and you're going to get a offensive line that's probably going to do a little pin and pull on you. They're going to try and probably the, the Singletary will run the ball as you mentioned right at you. They'll run the traps, and you know, and next thing you know, he 
you look up and it's a five, six yard carry. You know, that's that's what you've got with this this kid right here. You're the offensive line, they're gonna try, they're gonna there we go here a little movement, we're cut it back, you know, and there's like a four yard gain. Sure. Because that's you know that's what this kid does, and he's he's one of the best in the league when it comes to his ability to also make people miss. Mm -hmm. You know that's something that you know that there you go. There's there's your read option stuff right there. Yep. You know that that right there could have been if he could run it back real quick. If you the this is where all of a sudden okay, now, now stop it right there. He did. Thank you for doing that. Okay, look at there's your. There's your the read right on the end. They're going to block the guy there on that on the to our left. They're going to block that edge right there, 58. and they're going to they're and then Daniel Jones right there. He could pull it. Look at look how far. The, okay, see the safety right behind. The safety starts to go inside. Jones pulls that ball. I mean, there he goes. He's to the edge. Yeah. See, this is the thing that Dallas has had problems with, is that the pull and then the run. You know, we saw it last week with the Ravens. Sure. I wouldn't be surprised to see Daniel Jones do this a couple of different times in this game until you prove that you can fit or you, or replace somebody that goes down inside. If one of those, if Tank or Micah goes down inside and, and takes the ball, then you know you've got to be ready to somebody to fill for the quarterback. Yeah, but I I wouldn't if I'm the Giants. I I, I am going to run the ball. Until you convince me you're going to stop me from running the ball. Yeah. And if you don't do that, then there's no reason. The last two weeks, the opponent has thrown the ball, what, 20 times a game? Mm -hmm. 20 times? Yep. Come on. Yeah. You know, 20 times. Now, and, and, they, and they've thrown it efficiently, too. Sure. Carr was fabulous. Jackson was fabulous throwing the ball, what, mm -hmm. 15 times, 16 times. Yeah. You know, and I, but like I said, if Dallas, if Dallas, doesn't handle the run, fits, finish, tackle. Yeah, they, they, this this could be one of those games where it's very reminiscent of what we've seen the last two weeks. Yeah. You know, last year the Giants didn't really, like, strike me as a team that was doing a bunch of weird little motions and exotic yeah. stuff, but they'll do it this year now, Brian Broaddus. So yeah. I, I just yeah. I landed on this play right here. It just made me think yeah. about it. They'll 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 go and bring one bring one of their receivers, and it's, and it's yeah. likely Wandale Robinson who will, who, will, who, will, who will do it a bunch, and they'll yeah. just run some weird little motion with them. That orbit. Yeah, they call that orbit. That orbit and yeah. Yeah, and then what'll happen is you you fake it, you fake it. To, they might run it the other way, yeah. where you fake it. Like say they'll run it coming the, coming back to the left. Yeah, you fake that, and then then all you you fake the inside hand up and just throw the wheel to him, yep. or you throw it to him in the flat. Yeah, you know. Yep, right there. I mean, yeah. But see, look at look at that right there. Daniel Jones is still carrying out his fakes. Yeah, you know, carrying out the fake. He's reading it. Down inside, mm -hmm. yeah. This, this, you know, this. He could still run with the ball right there. This, this is Dallas is going to, and maybe, maybe the fact that you played the Ravens this past week will give you an opportunity to have kind of worked on this a little bit. Your game plan of like, okay, how are we going to play? You got to do something better. Yeah. But you know, maybe it give you a little bit of idea of how to play the read option a Bri little bit better. Brian, yeah. this will be the week. That Daniel Jones pulls it and run like seventy yards though, like like oh no will, question, this, this yeah, will be no the week question. that it happens. Um, yeah. But Singletary is a guy that you have to tackle. I remember him in the draft yeah. process, like Florida Atlantic or whatnot. Um, and he was a he was a back that I like, but it's just that Buffalo mm. just kind of moved on from him. But um, and I think he was with the, so Texas the Texans. Too. The I Texans, mean, the Texans yeah. moved, yeah. Yeah, they just they just they just they just moved on from him. But I'm not looking at Devin Singletary as just oh he's just some little back. Like you're gonna have to tackle that dude. You're gonna have to wrap him no, up and he, bring him down. He is he is one of the top three backs in the league when it comes to breaking tackles. You know, and, and Dallas, yeah, you better tackle because I can say every time you look up, the the guy's got four, five, six yards running, and then sometimes he'll he'll bust it through there and he'll he'll score a touchdown on you too. I mean, they they've got they've their skill players are better. Than what they've had in the past, the running back. Now people say, "Well, damn, Brian Saquon Barkley." Well, Saquon Barkley always seemed to hurt when he was playing against you. Yeah, you know, it always seemed like that he wasn't completely healthy. Now, this guy's a tough runner, and mm -hmm. he's good for what they're trying to do. Man, Brian Bros, I got another question for you, man. We're not doing that, else. I just wanted to stop real fast, just ask yeah, you I know, something. I, know, I just wanted I know, to ask you something. Doing. I just, I want, doing, I just yeah. wanted to ask you something, Brian. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm looking at the New York Giants, man. And we just mentioned them, Brian. We just mentioned Wondell Robinson, you know. 
Yeah, and I'm player. going, and I'm going, man, boy, it'll sure be nice if we can get Turpin involved, like they get Wandale <laughs> Robinson involved. Yeah. Because they're, yeah. they're similar type guys. I think Wandale's like more of a receiver, but he's played a lot more receiver right. than uh, than uh, Turpin has. I think he uh, catches a little better. He, he probably understands routes a little better than, you know. But I think Turpin is your explosive guy, right? But mm -hmm. I'm like, man, why don't we do the, the little good with the, the little orbit and we can yeah. make it a triple option with Turpin or, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Why don't we do those things, Brian? How come Turpin gets like maybe two attempts per game and one of them is running over the middle and one of them is just running deep somewhere? Like, or or yeah. Brian, something I hate now. We was watching film in Patreon today. Turpin out here blocking for people, Brian. Brian, why yeah. the Cowboys using Turpin as a blocker on a perimeter, Brian? Why can't Get we it. use Turpin like 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 they use Wondell Robinson? I tell you what, now they don't kick the ball to Turpin anymore. If you notice that, they're kicking it to other dudes. Wanye got a hell of a lot of returns the other day. Yeah, Wanye yeah. getting returns, and uh, people kind of figure out, don't kick it to Turpin. All of a sudden, Turpin becomes blocker and gets a holding call on the very first play of the game. Mm. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the you, you'd love to see more than the Jet. You know, there was a time where I thought they were going to do things with Turpin as far as put him in the backfield. Yeah. And just hand him the ball or toss him the ball. You know, but we yeah, the OTA practices seem like years ago from what <laughs> I was watching. I was watching, you know, uh, Deuce Vaughn and Turpin. They were doing all these things, and I was thinking, nah, they're 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 messing with me now. Yeah. They're just they're not. You know, I I go back, I do my radio show, or I come on. You and I talk, whatever, and I'm like, man, look what they're doing with Turpin. I'm sure you could go back and pull some. I think there were some OTA shows you and I did, yeah. And I'm sitting there talking up. Oh, I saw this and saw that, and I haven't seen a damn thing since, mm -hmm. you know. But um, Robinson is uh, is interesting because when they get in some need, some like they get in third down and short. Yeah, you know, and they want to throw the ball, put him in the backfield as you just saw. They run him on a little routes outside, throw him in the flat. He'll he'll spot up for you, catch the ball. He's a reliable player. He was a good player at Kentucky. Sure was. I remember watching him at Kentucky, and it seemed like he was just a big weapon for them when it came to making plays. And he's uh, he's done some of that very similar the things that he did at Kentucky with with the Giants. Yeah. And I I just think their skill players have gotten better. Mm -hmm. I think they're I think they're skilled with the running back and again I know people hey, it's it's Saquon Barkley Brian look what he's doing in Philadelphia no well Saquon Barkley wasn't always healthy when he played against you mm -hmm. he's a, he's an outstanding back no question this guy brings a lot of toughness though Singletary brings sure. a lot of toughness mm -hmm. to their running game he's perfect for you know handing the ball off inside and just kind of letting him find the spot yeah you know. Yeah, man, I'm just watching the Giants and Brian. I, I promise this sounds this this sounds funny, but I actually got a little jealous watching their offense, man. I'm like, man, I wish <laughs> it, it sounds crazy as hell. Yeah. I promise you, but man, I would love it if Dak ran a little bit more, or or when yeah. we're actually running the read option motion, yeah. I would love for Dak to pull and run. I would love yeah. for us to easily get our wide receiver one involved. I would love to get our wide receiver two involved, right? I would love yeah. to just this offensive line, man. Jermaine Elamia. Yeah, I, I have trouble with the name. Yeah. To the, the right side of their offensive line. Did you figure out, was it Van Rotten? Is it, is it Van Rooten? Greg Greg Van, Van Riga Smickleberry is his name, Brian <laughs> Brothers. But he ain't better than Tyler Smith yeah. and Zach Martin, man. But they, they yeah. get to run the ball over there. Why can't yeah, we? Yeah, they, 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 they. The the pin and pull stuff, the uh, you know the 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 read option stuff, yeah. Um, yeah. They, and they've got a they've got a back that's as we've mentioned, uh, sure. you know, they, he's he's a quality back, and you know, and they, and they and they've got they they have to they have to do everything in their power to protect their quarterback because the quarterback is still he's he's limited the number of mistakes he's made, but I still see a guy that throws the spots, yeah, you know, and and this is where I hope that if. If the Cowboys can get him into some passing situations, and you know they'll be, it might you might be able to confuse him on some routes, or excuse me, on some coverages where he'll throw you the ball. Yeah, because there's there were some times where he, I mentioned like he's like predetermined where he's going to go with the football, mm -hmm. and it's picked off. Yeah, but he he used to be a turnover machine, but with a solid running game. A bad ball receiver, a little receiver that can get first downs for him. It's pretty efficient the way he's playing right now. 
Yeah. Brian, you think, um, you know, like Jalen Hyatt is going to give us some problems, you know, some of the other guys? I, I think, the, yeah, I think Hyatt would give you problems only after what you saw with the Saints. Now, yeah. they've had problems connecting with the deep ball. They, they, you know, they've had some issues trying to throw the ball all the way down the field. Yeah. But to me, that's where are you going back? Is this last year's last, last year? year yeah. yeah. Last year's Jalen. Yeah. Hyatt, yeah. Yeah. See, that's, yeah, that's what to me, that's, I would worry about that. I would worry about that from the aspect of what happened with the, with the saints sure. and, you know, and, and your inability, they, you know, if you don't get a jam on the outside, yeah. you know, and let him have free access into the route, he can do just exactly what, what we saw with the saints. He yeah. just could be a vertical player and, sure. you know, and be that way. I think, you know, the guy, like I said, to uh, in Tennessee, I just I loved watching him run, just run through defenses. Sure, you know, he, gosh, mm -hmm. he was just. It seemed like every every time he looked up, he was <laughs> he was catching a ball down the field, and and the, like I say, the Cowboys have got to prove that their safeties can can handle that if the ball goes vertical that way. And that's exactly why I asked you this, Brian Bros, because it's not like our safety play has just been inspiring or anything no. like that you know mm -hmm. uh we no. we had we had questions about hey donovan wilson out in open space and covering people or right. running and tackling people like what's it gonna look like when it's not all in front of him and, hey there 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 have been some issues and i and, and look brian this will be the one week that the run game actually gets figured out but neighbors hyatt and uh and robinson run past everybody like like this will yeah. be the week to do it um Kalen Carson's dealing with an injury, Brian. Do you have an idea what's, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, it's his shoulder, and I talked to somebody in the organization about it, and it's a shoulder bruise, and it literally is a game-time decision. So that's where we're at. You know, if, if you had more days to deal with it, you know, I think that you could probably be out of the woods on it. Mm -hmm. But it, but it's a shoulder bruise, and they say when we, when we line up and play or get ready to play, to warm up, then that's where you'll know if he's going to play or not. So, Brian. yeah, and that yeah, that means you know <laughs> we'll we'll see how that <laughs> so, so we'll see it we'll see how that works out for you. Yeah, you know? I, I'm I'm hoping Kalen Carson's all right. He needs yeah, uh, he's, he's a tough kid. He needs the tough reps. Kid. He needs the reps. Um, <laughs> so Brian, out out of out of this this group of offensive linemen, these young men, Thomas Van Riggleberry, Runyon, yeah. Michael Schmitz, and Eliminia, yeah. Eliminia. Um, which guy should we be looking for? And 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 like I said earlier, people to attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would attack. Believe it or not, I would attack Thomas, Andrew, the Thomas. left tackle. Okay. Yeah, I would attack Andrew Thomas. I I kind of feel like though watching him, and you know, you when you watch them play the Browns, um, the quarterback did an. You know, the metrics will tell you off the next gen stats that the, that the NFL gets to the teams. They will tell you that uh, Daniel Jones. This was you have to go back a few years for a game where he had his, the snap to throw was the quickest that, you know, he's had in years. And it's a lot of it has to do with the Browns and their pass rush. So, sure. um, but there were times when, when you saw that Andrew Thomas and he's a good player, don't get me wrong, but he's one of those guys that could be a little bit like steel when it comes to cutting people off from the inside. Mm. And I mean, come, you know, if you you take him upfield, upfield, and, and Parsons has eaten this guy up before. Sure, I mean he has eaten him up, and I could see them. You know, there's a team that plays with multiple tight ends. Could see them putting guys over there, chipping, doing all that. That's why I think it's important that you kind of you move Mike around a little bit. The smaller guy is is uh, the center Smiths. He's a smaller guy, so you can maybe take advantage of him inside a little bit if you want to match him up. But Thomas is the one guy that I kept watching. I kept watching Miles Garrett and others over there, and he just cannot handle somebody rushing really, really hard on the inside to him because he's so outside conscious, so outside, outside in. In outside out, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He, don't give him any, don't give him any kind of rhythm to get into. Let him have to deal with a lot of various variations of rushes, and that gives him a lot of problems there. Sure. So I, it's a, it's it's you know we talked about the Saints' offensive line. You know, kind of feel like the Saints probably have a better offensive line than this group. Yeah. And uh, 
you know, but it was, it was, there were some, there were some areas that you can attack. I, I just remember years going by Vosh where the giants have been bad at offensive line and Eli Manning at quarterback. And we still allow them to get away with passing the ball for 300 and something yards, mm-hmm. you know, and you're like going, damn, how do they, you know, they get four bad offensive linemen and, you know, they're, but th- this group, this group, I feel like with, with Thomas, you can, you can, him and him and Smith's, just, oh. just don't let them get running the ball. That's yeah. the thing I worry about here. Just don't get them. Let them. What do you got here? The this is the Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, matchup. yeah, yeah. You uh, you was you was uh, talking about the left tackle versus Cleveland. So I just pulled yeah. it up just kind of see what yeah. you were talking about. And Miles yeah. just kind of hit that on right go. there. There you go. I yeah, gotcha, I gotcha, see I gotcha. that ball. That ball is out in a hurry. Yeah, but here you go. Kick. Oh, now inside. You know. Yeah. So sometimes you know, and that's and that's. That's neighbors out there. I mean, mm-hmm. that is a guy that's a really good route runner. He's going to get upfield. He's going to curl back inside, or he's going to run the out, whatever he has to do. Yeah. But, yeah, that's the, the the left tackle here, I feel like in some pass sets could be a little problem. I think with, you know, with Runyon too. Sure. Runyon could be a little bit of a – it could have some problems at the, at the right guard spot. Yeah. But I'm I'm kind of focused on if you're, if you're going to really take advantage of a guy, I think Thomas – I think Thomas is terrified with having to deal with uh, with Micah. Yeah, yeah, I really do. You know, we uh, we we're so damaged, Brian. We're so hurt and just bent out of shape about the Cowboys and how they act. Sometimes we haven't really talked about neighbors. We haven't really uh, yeah. talked about how how great he's been, uh, Brian. If you just want to give us a give us a brief rundown, I mean, he's uh, yeah. he's a playmaker. He's a dude that just kind of gets yeah. open, and even if he's not open, he's like snatching the football out of the air. Um, yeah. He's making Daniel Jones look a little bit better. If you throw it in front of him, he'll catch it. If you throw it low, high, or like behind him, he'll he'll like catch it still. Um, bad ball catcher, yeah, bad ball bad, catcher, bad, bad. and yeah. um. And uh, neighbors in the red zone has been has been impressive. He's he's been a guy that yeah. can just kind of find. It's very Odell Beckham like. I ain't just saying that because of the jersey, uh, mm-hmm. but it, but it's very Odell Odell Beckham like. And um, of 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 course, Brian, I think something that the Cowboys are going to have to worry about. Just you know, we just talking about neighbors here. It's him catching the ball short and yakking his way into a bigger play. That's 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 his game. Yeah. Um, you know, and and you know the kid. Uh, I love the kid. I mean, he. If you look at one of the big reasons why, and we saw last night with with Daniels playing mm-hmm. for the Commanders, sure. one of the big reasons why Daniels won the Heisman Trophy last year was because of Neighbors. Yeah, and there there were plenty of time in LSU games where Neighbors and Lacey and others are, you know, are are playing, and and you know they they got a good receiving room and. But it, you knew the ball at LSU was going to neighbors. You knew it. They, everybody in the stadium knew the ball. And he still made play after play after play after play. Extremely tough, competitive, bad ball catcher. You mentioned that. Good run after catch. Going to get north-south in a hurry. Not going to dance around and make the – he's going to catch the ball and get upfield. He's going to bust through some tackles. He's, you know, he's, a, he's an excellent route runner. And you mentioned down the red zone, he has a real feel for how to play on the boundary, how to extend. Um, it, you know, I thought going to the Giants would probably be a disaster for him because of Daniel Jones. Sure. But they're figuring out ways to get him the ball. They're just targeting him, and that's that's what you got to do with him. You just got to keep throwing him the ball because that's what that's what Daniels did to him at LSU. Just kept throwing the ball, throwing the ball, throwing the ball, and he ends up with all these catches, and rightfully so. But he, he, one of the reasons why Daniels won the Heisman Trophy, a big reason. Daniels is an outstanding player and will be an outstanding player. But, but this this kid neighbors made him really what he is because of his ability. And and, and Daniels knew it. Just throw it at him, yeah. and he's going to make the play. And I, I worry about that a little bit in this game coming up. I think him matched up with him and Diggs, Carson's plays. I mean, Dallas could be a little handicapped at corner on the other side if Carson doesn't go but you know nobody feels sorry for you in this league you got to line up and play if the Cowboys don't take care of business we'll be watching draft film real early up in oh yeah oh yeah you and I you and I will already be getting started I know my target date has always been December 1st and the kind of the running joke on Twitter Twitter X whatever you want to call it uh, has been when the Cowboys lose a game it's when are we cranking up the draft show yeah and uh, so yeah um I, I hope that doesn't happen anytime soon, 
But man, it's uh, they've got to play better than they have the last two weeks, especially on defense. Yeah, you got to, and you know, the offense has got to help the defense. You got to, you can't go out there and act like that. You're just, you're just for every yard you're getting is a struggle. You know, and then, oh my God, it's third and two, and now you're going to have to make a play, and they don't make a play. You know, sure. now you're punting and all that crap. Yeah, Brian, this has been an incredible show, sir. It's Thank always you, sir. an honor to tap in with you and talk to you man and when you come on here and do these preview shows i just wanted to give you a little something back to man i wanted us to have a discussion about the about the actual breakdown here man so i'm glad that you got a chance to do it yeah. here and um i'm grateful that we get to uh do it in front of our beloved audience man every time yeah. you uh tell me yeah if you know somebody from this country you ain't never seen before uh has has tuned into your content and they yeah. love what me and you do so that 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 mean the world to us and we'll keep on cranking this out all right sounds good brother thank you man uh, Vash Lombardicus, y'all can uh, find me here at VOCHLM. And uh, yeah, don't worry about what, but, but Brian Broadus in particular, y'all, please be sure to go follow him, B R Y N Broadus, on social medias. He'll be up very early in the morning to watch some defense, and we'll be here, uh, breaking it down tomorrow. I'm gonna watch the defense later, like around, like if we do the show at eight, I'm gonna watch like 7 30 or something like that. But Brian will watch it at five in the morning, okay? Yeah, so, I'll tell you what, man, I, I, I'm gonna have some questions for you tomorrow, too, but it's we got our we got our we got our staple coming up too. We got to forget to figure out because we always I always like asking you questions. I always get those good answers from you. So I'll come up with a few questions, but we'll have this uh, we'll break down this Giants defense and get you ready for this game Thursday night. Sounds good, boss man. I appreciate all y'all for tapping in with us, and uh, we'll see y'all again tomorrow. Y'all hold it down. We love you. Be safe. Go get something to eat. Crown. <laughs>